We're going to get started because we have a limited time. Uh, thank you all for staying. <laughs> uh, and uh, I'd like to thank uh, also the people of Steubenville uh, and here at Wells for their hospitality. Uh, having uh, said that now, I'd like to turn it over to uh, three of our uh, members, uh, Representative Reese, uh, Representative uh, Lundy, and Representative Fetter. We'll keep it to less than an hour and a half. Is that what we're doing? Okay. Um, let me start first by saying that uh, you know, the, the governor started by talking about why he selected Steubenville because he says it reminds him of his roots. Um, I would say to you today that the governor, sadly, has forgotten his roots. You know, I grew up in uh, the city of Pittsburgh, steel town, steel industry paid for a lot of paychecks in my family. You know, I know what it's like when the governor says that, you know, uh, people get knocked down but never get knocked out. My message to the governor is quit hitting the middle class in the gut, quit punching the middle class in the gut. He comes to Student Bill, he talks about being concerned about the working families of Student Bill. This is the public John Kasich. This is really the tale of two John Kasichs. The public John Kasich says he's concerned about working families. The private or real John Kasich in Columbus works to push Senate Bill 5. Of course, he didn't talk about that today. He talks about how raising taxes will destroy the economy. That's the public John Kasich. The real John Kasich cuts local government funds, cuts funding for public schools, forcing them to raise taxes. He talks about the importance of public education, yet he's the same one who wants to privatize public education through vouchers, which will only go on to hurt our public schools. And publicly, he says that uh, he's now listening to the people of Ohio. I'm sure that was a big part of why he wanted to bring his state of the state directly to the people. Yet, the private and real John Kasich continues to find ways to lease the Ohio Turnpike or sell the Ohio Turnpike when clearly Ohioans do not want this. Also, I want to point out, if you want to talk about bipartisanship, then it would have been interesting to mention President Obama, the bailout of the auto industry. You know, those visits to Lordstown and, and Avon Lake in my district may not have been possible if we hadn't stabilized the auto industry through the bailout. So I'd like to say that, you know, we can't move forward if the governor keeps punching the middle class in the gut. Thank you. Thank you, Matt, and um, I want to thank the uh, town of Steubenville and also a former elementary school teacher, um, Wells Academy. And I think, you know, the portion that I really missed from the governor's speech is the future of public education for Ohio. Where is it? It's devoid of any real plan. Uh, governor Strickland put forward, I think, a very bold, aggressive plan for the state of Ohio and Governor Casey dismantled it. He's continued to harm public education by taking away funds for school districts that have to be held accountable to the public with every levy that they ask to be passed. Charter school system does not have to do that. They're not held accountable to the public. Their monies are funneled through the back door of a public school system. They never have to ask for the approval of the taxpayers and think about it. How many charter schools are failing in the state of Ohio? Too many. Some people are serving jail time for mishandling and misusing those funds. And he wants to take a look at the charter school system that's working. It's not working. Take a look at the public schools that are working and struggling and reward those teachers and those school districts that are doing a great job. Don't look at failed systems. <coughs> I feel as though he does not have a plan for the education system except to privatize it. He's expanding the voucher system. We'll continue to do that. And I feel that that's an abdication of his responsibility. We need to design a solution, and I did not see that at all. 